So hey everyone, and welcome to another video here with DJI's Ground Station Pro. Thanks for stopping in, and thanks for all the support to the channel in the past couple weeks. I really appreciate it, and I'm glad that I'm covering a topic that's interesting to more folks than I thought would be interested. Quite frankly, I didn't think many people were using Ground Station Pro because it's so specific in the fact that you have to have an iPad to work with Ground Station Pro. I just figured not many people were using it. And with the amount of folks coming by and watching the videos, I realized that you are interested in it. So today I wanted to talk about doing a waypoint mission. So we're actually going to fly around and set some waypoints with the drone. Now, you could at home set up waypoint missions and then come out and fly them at whatever location it is you're going to, or you can actually plan the mission with the drone. So we're going to fly around the rock formations here. We're going to set some waypoints and then we'll bring the drone back. We'll check out flying our mission, and we'll also talk about the fact that we can alter and modify things um, on our waypoint mission afterward. So it might be the case that you set your points and then you decide that you wanna change some of the actions. That's completely possible. So this is very comparable to Litchi, but there are some of the features in Litchi that don't show up here in Ground Station Pro, and there's some features in Ground Station Pro that don't show up in Litchi. So if you're an iPad owner, you might want to download Ground Station Pro. Hey, it's free. It's a DJI app. There are a couple pay for upgrades, but you can do a lot with it. And I'm seeing a lot more uses, commercial uses for Ground Station Pro at this point, as I've been experimenting with GS Pro 2.0. 1.0 is gone, and I do like the improvements in 2.0. So first, let's check on our screen here. I'm going to go into My Missions. And it's complaining that I don't have internet access again. And down in the right-hand corner, I can switch to the view from my drone. So just like the DJI Go 4 app, very, very similar indeed. So we've got our home location set, but I don't have any map information because I'm not connected to the internet right now. I'm back in my missions, and I'm going to go hit this plus symbol down in the lower left bar. And we are going to create a waypoint route and we are going to use the aircraft to record the altitude. So that's awesome. So we've got our starting location here on our big empty map, and I can also pull up my screen, and that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna get this off the ground, so I'm gonna step back really quick, and I'm just gonna move the drone away from us so that we can continue our conversation. So there goes the drone, and it is in P mode, looking good. So I'm going to bring the drone hmm, probably right over to here. I'm just starting to get my points. I'm going to raise the elevation just a little bit. And we'll consider this our spot number one. So on our screen on the iPad on the right-hand side, you see the finish button, the set button, or the undo button. I'm going to go ahead and set a waypoint right here. So there we go. And now I'm going to move the drone right along. So our first waypoint is on the screen now. And I'm just bringing the drone further out. So it's following a straight line at the moment. And now I'm going to set the second waypoint. I'm going to give myself a little bit of a turn. I'm going to head off to some really cool rock formations over here. And there we go. So right about there. I'm going to set my next waypoint. I'm also going to increase the altitude now because the rock formations here are kind of high. And so now we've got a little more elevation. Set that one again. And I'm going to increase elevation again. And we're just moving right along. So these aren't smooth movements right now because I am just setting out my waypoints after all. And I'm going to set another waypoint right there. And we'll move the drone along again. So it's just going to do a bit of a loop is what we're going to be doing with this particular waypoint mission. And so now I'm going to bring the drone back toward me. And we've got a plane in the area going by. So just keeping our eyes on where he's at. And I have submitted with LAANC, the Lance system, to uh, let them know about my flight. I'm keeping the flight under 250 feet. So 
we should be good. We're in a 400 foot AGL area. And now I'm gonna drop the drone's elevation a little bit here. There we go. And right about there, I'm gonna park it facing back toward me. I'm gonna set that and I'm gonna have the drone come back over here again. And you can now hear the drone. And I'm going to set this as my last point. And I'm going to finish creating this mission. So there we go. And let's take a look on the screen. We actually have our waypoint mission. And now I am going to bring the drone back over to me. Actually, let's move it away for a moment. So we've created the waypoint mission and it looks pretty good. We've got this sort of strange loop going on. And at this point, we could actually fly the mission as well. Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and hop on over, set up for video instead of still photos. And I'm gonna be lazy and just go ahead and um, go full auto, which I really shouldn't do, not for a video mission. But I'm gonna pull the drone back here and we're gonna execute that mission and then we'll also record the mission. So I'm going to go to the upper right corner with the plane symbol. I'm gonna click on the plane symbol and we're gonna get all of our information. So end mission activity, go home altitude is 164 feet. The last waypoint is close to home. Aircraft may land directly. And one of my waypoints is a little too close. So I messed up on the setup here because my last waypoint was too close to the home waypoint. So let's go ahead and cancel that. And we're going to simply go back in here and we're gonna take a look at our waypoints. So what I would like to do is check out that last waypoint. And that last waypoint is definitely very close to home. So. How do I delete that waypoint? It's a very good question. I've never had to do that before. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna drag that waypoint over. So it's still gonna be hovering nearby. And so this is me being sloppy. So just saying that and letting you know, but I think everything should be good now. Let's try that airplane button again. Our first, actually, let's go back to our video feed and let's give that airplane button, okay. Distance between two adjacent waypoints is too close, once again. So, what waypoints are too close? And how can I delete a waypoint? Well, on the right-hand side, there is a button with a trash can, and that allowed me to delete that waypoint. So, hopefully, let's go ahead and delete that second waypoint as well. Now we've got a little bit of distance. Let's see if it's happier with that. Distance between two adjacent waypoints is too close again. Hey, this is live, right? So here we are, we're trying this out and we're making some mistakes. So with that in mind, let's see here. What other waypoint looks too close potentially? Let's go ahead and give that waypoint right there a removal. And now let's check our flight again and see, once again, we have distance between two adjacent waypoints is too close. So definitely not happy with how close I have these waypoints. I'm trying to figure out which waypoint is the problem. Maybe, maybe we should restart this. And I think we should, because we're definitely making some kind of mistake here. All right. So we're still recording, and I'm gonna check this out one more time. Unlock the no-fly zone. Retry, cancel. So it definitely wants some spacing with these waypoints, I'll say. I'm thinking it might be this one. Okay, so we're gonna stop filming this one in just a moment. 
because we definitely did something very wrong as far as the um, Ground Station Pro is concerned. So, I think that we should probably delete this mission, bring the drone back, and try again. And it can't hurt. So let's bring this bad boy down. Alright. And it's still complaining about proximity. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this video off on the iPad. And I'm going to go ahead and... So everything doesn't go the way you want it to all the time. In the case of this tutorial, mistakes were made. So I flew the drone out, I dropped my waypoints, and for some reason the waypoints were considered too close together. Alright, so what do we do? We go back to the drawing board and we try it again. And in the next upcoming video that I'll be posting here very soon, we're actually going to go back through the waypoint mission again. We're going to set the waypoints a little further apart, and then we're going to test the flight out. Just to let you know, I'm going to give a spoiler away for the next one. The waypoint mission is not the prettiest mission in the world, so there's still some more fine-tuning to do. And it might be the case that Litchi is more appropriate for doing some cinematic waypoint areas. I'm really coming to the conclusion with Ground Station Pro that it is much more suited toward the construction industry, um, maybe doing progression reports with the waypoints, but I don't think that Ground Station Pro is going to give us incredibly cinematic stuff. So we're probably going to need to keep more than one software package in our toolkit. And I already expected that anyways, and I think everyone else who flies drones probably feels the same way. There are certain apps that are great for one thing and certain apps that are great for other things. Well, all right, everyone, I'm going to let you go. Keep your eyes open for the next video where we actually get the Waypoint mission done right. And then we scratch our heads over a couple of things that happen in the Waypoint mission. We'll see you on the next video.